the world of LHS. I'm Asai Jones, and welcome to today's broadcast of the Woody Roar. I'm Zamir Sad. Today is Thursday, February 29th, 2024. Let's go to our question of the day. Remember, stay tuned until the end of the broadcast for the answer. There will be an important AV club meeting after school on Tuesday, March 5th. On a call for anyone who wants to go on the HBCU college tour, you must see Mrs. Lee with the deposit ASAP. Seniors who have not yet been accepted to a college of their choice are able to attend now. Seats are limited. Must have a deposit in by March 4th. The choir and theater students will present a Broadway night variety show concert tonight at 6.30 p.m. Choir and theater students will present solo songs and scenes from your favorite Broadway shows and movie musicals. There will be a special preview number from our musical, spring musical, 9 to 5, and the final will be a choral medley from the Broadway hit Hamilton. The concert is free. Don't miss this great night music. Attention all bowlers. Please report to Coach Johnson's room B105 immediately after school this Friday, March 1st, for our end of season meeting. This will be super quick and you will still make your bus home. You will also need to return your jersey, so please do not forget it. Thank you. Science Club meeting. The Science Club will be meeting directly after school on March 6th in room E201, where we plan to investigate how common small appliances work by taking them apart. Please see Mr. Morgan or Mr. Callow with any questions. See you then. Now let's send a Naeem Hudson for the weather. I'm Naeem Hudson with today's forecast. Today we have partly cloudy skies at a high of 43 and a low of 27. Winds coming from the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Friday we'll have mostly sunny skies and a high of 52 and a low of 38. On Saturday, I have showers with a high of 56 and a low of 47. On Sunday, we have mostly cloudy skies and temperatures at a high of 63 and a low of 48. On Monday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 59 and a low of 47. On Tuesday, we have showers with a high of 64 and a low of 46. Now, please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Channel 29, my name is Brian Sanford. Today we're going to talk about sports and stuff in that genre. Oh, yeah! Holy birds. Hey, toss me one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm Naeem Hudson with the 4 and 1. Join us as we celebrate Black History Month. Today we celebrate the life of Clarence D. Lester. Clarence D. Lester, a Tuskegee Airman born in 1922, made a significant impact during World War II. As one of the pioneering black military aviators assigned to the 100th Flighter Squadron, part of the re-owned Tuskegee Airmen, Lester played a crucial role in a strategic bombing campaign against Nazi Germany in 1944, throwing a mission over Mimiki, Germany. Lester shot down three Merseyship BF-109s contributing to the destruction of the 50 enemy aircraft, nicknamed Lucky for his numerous narrow escapes. Lester completed 90 combat missions flying a P-51 Mustang named Miss Pelt. After the war, he continued his military service facing mortal danger when injecting from an exploding F-84E Thunderjet, becoming one of the first pilots to use the ejection mechanism. Lester's post-war career included working with the Defense Department with his kids and serving as an associate professor at Howard University. He retired as a colonel in 1969 and co-founded a venture capital consulting firm. Lester's legacy continues to inspire exemplifying resilience and bravery in overcoming racial barriers in the military. He passed away in 1886 at the age of 63 leaving Lester, leaving a lasting impact on those who followed in his footsteps, including fellow fighter pilot Fred Cherry, a Vietnam War veteran. I'm a 
I'm sorry, Jones. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS-TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.